So let's look at ox or water with two hybrids. Let's see, for a hybridization, oxygen starts with its regular complement of atomic orbitals. And if we need two hybrids, we're going to take the S and mix it with just one P. That puts two orbitals in the box. From these two atomic orbitals, we're going to make two new hybrid orbitals. Two hybrid orbitals, and they are SP hybrids, equal parts S and P. And of course, they're going to be these two leftover P orbitals at the end. What's this going to look like? Well, we're going to have an oxygen in the middle, and it's going to be attached to two hydrogens, which are equally spaced about this oxygen. So how do we equally space two atoms about a central atom? Well, we put it on the opposite sides of the atom. And if you really break this down, we use the PX to construct these two SP hybrids. So this entire molecule sits on the x-axis, at least in terms of the bonds. So the bond angle for these, for uh, this oxygen is going to be 180 degrees. Uh, opposite faces of the oxygen, 180 degree bond angle. So what's the geometry? The geometry is a little more complicated um, because for the geometry we have to think of what the structure looks like and we kind of need to fill in our lone pairs. So for the geometry, these p orbitals, these aren't any p orbitals, this is the, the uh, py and the pz. One p orbital is going to be oriented as on the, y, uh, the z axis, I'm going to draw a z first because we've shown that in previous pictures as being up and down in the page. So that is our pz. PY is a little bit more difficult. The, P, the Y is actually coming in, in uh, out of the plane and into the plane. So for the PY, I'm going to draw it as a, give a little bit of a tilt. I can draw this darker. And then the other half of the PY, I'm going to show dash, meaning it's going behind the plane of the page. What I'm trying to represent here is a molecule that honors the x-axis, the z-axis, and then the y-axis is kind of going in and out of the, the writing surface. That's what I'm trying to represent with this picture. So the geometry actually does not factor in the lone pairs, but it's good to have them filled in. For the geometry, we look simply at what the atoms are doing. These atoms are all in a line, a line defined by the x-axis. And so this is considered a linear geometry. And if water is sp hybridized, then it would have a bond angle of 180 degrees and its geometry would be linear.